Hello YouTube, Mobile Technology Reviews here, and today I'm, today I'm going to be doing a browser comparison um, between the stock browser, Opera Mini 7.0, and UC Browser 8.7 on the uh, TrackPhone LG 840G. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, I am connected to Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and load up the stock browser. It loads pretty fast over Wi-Fi. Um, automatically, it brings you to um, track phones homepage here, which is what you're looking at. Um, so down here, we have our multiple tabs. We hit new window. We brought to that. You can switch between windows just like that. Sort of like Safari, just not as refined. Um, since it's not does not support pinch to zoom, uh, you have to zoom using this button. Um, here's your uh, button to reload all the pages. Um, this button brings you to your bookmarks, which you can scroll through just like you can on the tabs. And right here is your full screen mode. Um, up here you have um, just a bunch of settings. That's to go to your home page. Um, this is the same as this. Enter URL. Um, and your settings here, just appearance, which just allows you to change uh, some of the font settings. And you can clear your cache, cookies, login info, all that kind of stuff. Um, here's your URL bar, which allows you to use the full QWERTY keyboard. So let's go on to Google here to show you some loading speeds. Google.com here. As you can see, it was very fast. Um, but in the search bar, you can't use the full quarter keyboard. You have to use this keypad, and there's no way to change it. Uh, so that really sucks. Um, let's load up a more of a demanding website here. Oh, I failed to mention before um, that this browser does support um, JavaScript. So if that's important to you, you have it on this. So let's load up, uh, I think I spelled that right. No. We'll load up uh, GSM Arena. Because that is more of a demanding website, I believe. Yeah, it is having a little bit uh, longer load times than it did with Google, which is very basic. Yeah, here we go. It's loading. There we go. It's loaded up. It does take kind of a while to uh, load the images and articles. Um, and this browser does support YouTube. Oh, let me go to that. Yeah, so out of the three browsers that I have on this, this is the only browser that supports YouTube. So you just click on a video. Uh, you click right here to watch video. Here we go, connecting. It'll take kind of a while to connect, depending on the length of the video. Um, and as you can see, um, it's it plays in this really small box in the center of the screen. It doesn't play full screen, which really sucks. Um, but at least the browser is capable of playing YouTube videos. And the history on this device, or on this browser, excuse me. Um, if you want to clear history, you go down here to recent pages. Click over here, delete all. And that basically uh, deletes your history. Um, okay, so that's the stock browser. Well, let's take a look at Opera Mini here. A 
loading up. Still loading. That's one of the drawbacks of Opera Mini. It does take a while to load things. Um, so here's the home screen to Opera Mini. You've got shortcuts to Google+, Gmail, Google Search, um, Opera's Game Store, Opera Sports, Amazon, and AccuWeather. Um, and you can add as many shortcuts as you want. Um, you do have a back and a forward button, a reload button, um, a multiple tab button here and all your kind of settings and history all those kind of things um, and what I like about this one is uh, you have two separate search bars so you have a Google search and you have a URL search where whereas on the stock browser you just have a URL search and you have the uh, opera QWERTY keyboard which isn't the greatest still, um, but it is better than typing with that keypad. So let me go on to Google here. Hold on, this is kind of hard to type on these small keys. Hold on here, this is kind of tedious. Jeez. Oh, okay, there's google.com. Um, and if you are using this browser, I would suggest putting it into landscape mode because then you have a landscape version of this QWERTY keyboard, which I'll show you guys later. Um, so here's Google. And as you know, as you probably noticed, that took a, a Quite a lot, quite a bit longer than the stock browser, um, and it automatically goes into full screen mode. You hit that, you can go go out of full screen mode. Um, so let's go into the same website we went on with the uh, stock browser. So I'm just going to put the camera down so I can type this a little bit faster. So hold on. Okay, so there's GSM Arena. So we're gonna load that up. Hit go. Okay, here we go. We have GSM Arena loaded up and it is very small. And it's having some trouble loading. <laughs> okay, here's the rest of it loaded. Okay, so on the stock browser, it automatically loads it in basically a size that can be read. The text can be read. This one does not. I mean, you can uh, click on an article like this, and it will zoom it in. You can zoom back out by hitting that. Um, but there is no pinch to zoom, and there's not really any uh, true zoom feature, which really sucks. Um, so let me go back to start page here. Um, here's your settings. Um, you can uh, to tweak the browser to your uh, personal likings. Uh, here's what the landscape, I'll show you what the landscape keyboard looks like. So there it is. It's a little bit bigger, not not that much bigger, but it works. Okay, so that was Opera Mini 7.0. And here is oh god not Opera Mini again. God, excuse me guys. UC browser. Here we go. UC browser eight point UC browser eight point seven. Um, I probably use this browser the most between um, all the browsers. 
uh, just because I like the way it looks and it loads things very fast. So, um, so here's uh, the home screen. It's like got this blue look to it, and that is because I have a theme applied. Um, you can download uh, multiple themes um, to the browser, and it'll change the look of it, which is a really nice feature. Uh, this browser is very customizable, unlike uh, Opera Mini and the stock browser. Um, so down here you have your two back buttons. Um, this button brings you to a bunch of settings. Uh, reload the page, exit the browser, stuff like that. Uh, here's your uh, tab. And here is your shortcut to the home page. And on the home page, you've got Facebook already there. And I'm not sure what this one is, but you can add uh, basically shortcuts to whatever website you want. And you can go to these multiple things here, like downloads, your bookmarks, and uh, your game center here. Yeah, okay, Game Center just loaded up. Um, so this does have a search bar and a URL bar, but they both, well, uh, the uh, us, uh, URL bar makes you type with UC Browser's um, stock keypad, not QWERTY keyboard, and then the search menu uh, makes you type in the phone's keypad. Now uh, you can click here. If you're on a website, you can add that to a bookmark and do all that stuff uh, with it. So let's uh, go on to Google here. Mm. I'll just go to just google.com. Hold on here. Where's my C? There it is. As you can tell, this is very hard and time time consuming to type on. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. Searching it. And up here, it shows you um, how much is loaded. <sighs> New browser found. Let's cancel out of that because I don't really want to upgrade right now. Here's Google. As you can see, it loaded up very fast. Um, when you click on um, like that, Google like that, it brings you to uh, the browser's uh, keypad. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in GSM Arena. Put the camera down. Hold on. Okay. There's GSM Arena loading up. Here's the status. How much is loaded? And there we go. It's loaded up in a uh, font that you can read it in, and it's nice. Scrolling is fairly smooth on it. Um, yeah. So that was UC Browser. Um, so it all depends on your personal preference. Get whatever one of those, um, get Opera Mini or UC Browser, depending on what you like. If you like a more customizable experience,